Namaste, my name is Rocky Heron, and this is a quick, uh, really effective way that you can actively stretch and strengthen some of the muscles that contribute to shoulder mobility. So I have two blocks uh, stacked vertically here, one in front of the next. And I'm going to lie down on the blocks so that my head is supported by the first block. Really the majority of my upper back and middle spine is supported by the second. You can bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. And bring your arms out beside you into a T formation. So we're going to take like a snow angel on the floor, but instead of bringing your hands to the floor, I'll ask you to lift your hands like a millimeter off the floor. So what this is going to do is engage the muscles on the front of your chest that you would use to ultimately bring your arms together, but we'll be engaging them at a somewhat lengthened position here. Then to the extent that you can keep your fingers hovering over the floor and bring your arms all the way overhead, and then down by your side and get a nice even and smooth range of long strong muscles to allow for a wider wingspan. So that would be the first step. We can further load these muscles and go a little deeper into the mobility. So after you have a handle on this movement, you can try it this time without the blocks or at least without the blocks underneath you and lie on your back. And you'll bend one knee and twist to the opposite side. Now, normally when we twist, we're looking to keep the shoulders stationary and the pelvis moves. In this instance, you're going to twist so much that the opposite shoulder actually lifts off the floor. So in this case, my right shoulder has lifted and there's a good amount of space between my shoulder and the floor. So now as I lift my hand off the floor, I'm moving into a deeper position of, of shoulder extension and then I can Likewise, take that sort of snow angel movement of my right arm all the way overhead, which will not only increase mobility in my upper back, but also active mobility in my glenohumeral joint or shoulder joint. As you get more proficient at this movement and you can stabilize it so there's no shoulder clicking and the hand doesn't sort of bob up and down as you move overhead, we can make this more uh, active or more loaded by placing you know, any kind of weight in your hand. So you can use a block, you could use two blocks. If you have weights, you could use weights or books. Okay, then it becomes a little bit of a coordinated effort to balance the blocks, to hover the blocks, and to slide the blocks all the way overhead. Of course, foam blocks are going to be a little less uh, precarious than wooden but you can add a little bit of a risk factor, make things more exciting. You, of course, always want to do both sides. And this becomes a really great uh, mobility drill for any number of postures that require us to bring our arms overhead or our arms back behind us, which would look like, you know, any of the poses in the backbend family or even just downward facing dog with the arms overhead. So give it a try. Let us know how it goes. And... Uh, Happy practice. Namaste.